Personally, I'm a goat, not a sheep, I'm a goat. We're currently here at Chili's. Silly's, Silly's. So I ordered. What did you order? With rice steak. What did you order? A pasta with chicken or shrimp? Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo. The young man got some chips and I got a Caesar salad and a beef quesadilla. Quesadillas, though. Quesadillas, quesadillas. But I got corrected. I was like, that. <laughs> so we're testing out the mic, we're seeing if the audio is any decent with the noise cancellation in public vicinities. As a kid, I never grew up using Crayolas. I found them so boring. Alright, we'll wait till the food gets here. Peace. You know fully well you're not allowed them sugary drinks, young man. Smacking your lips. <laughs> Wait, don't don't eat the Crayola. Which one do you want? Okay. Which one do you want? This one. Which one? Uh uh, no, dirty. Uh uh, not that, not that. Oh no. What are you gonna what advice have you got for your future self? No. He's not interested. He's not interested. Alright, we are here in SM City Pampanga. Right? We're doing a little shopping. And he's really unsettled. So I've got to do my fatherly duties and take him out for a little walk. While the food <laughs> while the food is waiting. Waiting to be what am I even trying to say? While well, we're waiting for the food to arrive. Alright, because he's just unsettled. Oh, say hello to the baby then. I don't know why. As he gets older, he knows that he's out in the mall. So, he finds himself being mischievous. Can I have a kiss him? Yeah. Alright, so, I'm excited for the food. We haven't had any real actual meals today. Yeah. Why do you say hello then? And then we'll say bye. Gotta take him out for these walks every now and again. And this place isn't bad. It's just eh. and dude, this kid is getting heavier and heavier every single time. Let me just uh stand up. Stand up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so we're waiting for our food to be served and we could have picked other restaurants but I don't know we decided to go to this bougie place whenever something is Americanized or westernized the price is just inflate and it's way past its bedtime so we're just waiting for the food to arrive yay we'll see you when the food arrives peace it's a 50% sale I don't know if it's true. Let's check some silhouettes. Ooh. 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 Alright, wait, our food is waiting. So we should probably go and get some food. Alright, come. Let's go, get, let's go get some food. Let's go get some food. Chicken Caesar salad. Beef quesadillas, right? I suppose. What's that? Sour cream, no guac. No surprise there. No surprise there. Uh, good. Cheers. Mm. Beef kits. Beef quesadillas are nice. Salad. Mm. Cheers, guys. Alright. 
It's nice. Mm. Beef quesadilla, third time's a charm. <laughs> third recording, third time's a charm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That is delicious, bro. I'm not a fan of the sour cream stuff, but I'll eat it. Cheers. Also, got a chicken Caesar salad. It's delicious. The toppings are nacho, nacho shavings. Yeah. As I said previously, eight and a half out of ten for the speed and it's tasty, it's delicious. It's I enjoy it. See you guys if we get dessert. If not, you know what to do. Peace. It's dessert time and I've got a little vlogger with me. He's holding the mic, so we're gonna have <laughs> he's so intrigued. But I need to talk into the mic like that. Yeah. So we're gonna have a little mango shake for dessert. Might go a bit Italian, get a little espresso. I need to speak into the mic, young man. Yeah, I'm gonna need that mic, mate. Got my own little helper. Yeah, it is coffee time. Shout out to the coffee makers. So, young man, what advice do you have for your future self? No, it is my my breath is just smelling like chicken Caesar salad. Right. Uh, <laughs> tonight's the night, guys. <laughs> what else did you guys get? Say hello. Say Papa. Go on. Papa. Yeah. Ooh, again. Papa. Hey. Yeah. Papa. Okay. Right there. Say Papa. Hello. Well done. All right, that's the advice you have for your future self. Papa. Papa. Alright guys, see you when I get some of that dessert. Last one and say bye. Yeah, yeah. Say bye bye. Okay. Love you. Kiss my brother. Okay. Peace guys. Peace. So it's dessert time and his attention has shifted to the mango tree. Not bad. I don't know if it's ice cream. It's definitely whipped cream. Alright, that's enough now because you might catch a little cough. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we're going to end the vlog here. You know what to do. Comment below on what you want me to try in the Philippines. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace, one love, subscribe, like share it let's get to road to 10k road to 10k peace and we are here getting some reps up don't have our mic so the audio isn't as well it, it should be all right because the ambient sounds aren't as intrusive as they are in the mall I'm not really needing a mic it's really peaceful around here at all times actually the the sound of this basketball is really the only thing that and swishes. Nah, that wasn't a swish. Let's get another swish. Okay. So, it just dawned on me that what I found peaceful to me, or what brought me joy in London, was the simple necessities. So, uh, a gym membership, paying X amount every month to exercise, improve your well being, and that's what brought me some, that's what brought me joy, for lack of a better term. But had I known any better, I would have saved that amount of money spending at the gym monthly, then booked myself a flight to a, a place where the tropical weather is. I mean, look at the trees. Look, there's trees. There's, there's mango trees. There's. I would have just booked myself to a lovely tropical climate, found myself a place where I can dribble a basketball 
whenever I wanted in this scorching, amazing sun with this scenic, scenic beauty, man. It's, what I'm trying to say is there's more out there. There's more out there than, than you think. Little, little pleasures or just being in the sun. So being in this Filipino heat, I know it's provincial heat and it is scorching. It is scorching, but it's good for you. My knees are vastly improving. I can move on the basketball court. I don't need my knee guard when I shoot. And I'm doing what I love in the sun on concrete. Had, if I was doing this on concrete back in the UK, back in London, it wouldn't be a feasible feat. It wouldn't be something I can spend X amount of hours on. So really think, really think about what brings you that bit of joy because there are ups and downs. You do experience stress and turmoil wherever you are in the world. And there's always a place out there for you, right? And man, I'm just, I wouldn't say I'm lucky, but you need that amount of luck. You need probably, let's say 97% luck. And the rest is just up to you, whether you make the decision or not, so. On the itinerary today, might we might go to the mall. I need to pick up a few vitamins for the well-being again. Things things I can utilize and express over here. I can't really find over in the UK. So it's either the mall or we're gonna head to the gym. So let's get these wraps up. 